Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we do another deep dive into Shudder. And with that, let's get to the list. Caveat is a 2020 Irish horror movie written, directed, and edited by Damian McCarthy. It stars Jonathan French, Leela Sykes, and Ben Kaplan. A lone drifter suffering from partial memory loss accepts a job to look after a psychologically troubled woman in an abandoned house on an isolated island. This is such a quirky, strange, uncomfortable, but very unique, really well done movie. I've talked about this a number of times here on the channel because I just think it's that good. And this past week, I went and saw a new horror movie called Oddity, which is the latest film from Damian McCarthy, the same filmmaker that did this. And I was blown away by it. It actually scared me a couple times. Like I legitimately jumped out of my seat in one scene. And I can't remember the last time anything has even come close to scaring me. So that just made me so excited. But just like Caveat, that movie has this creepy, ominous, uncomfortable feeling about it. He's just really a fantastic up and coming filmmaker. And this movie, Caveat, has the most uncomfortable feeling from minute one. Everything just feels bizarre and not quite right. And there's a lot of interesting choices, things you probably have not seen done in a movie before. But it's mysterious and intriguing with lots of moving parts that keeps you guessing the entire time. So if you haven't seen Caveat, definitely check it out. But also, if you get a chance to get out to the theaters and go see Oddity, do that as well, because I think it's a real gem. The Shining is a 1980 psychological horror movie, co-written, directed, and produced by Stanley Kubrick. It's loosely based on Stephen King's 1977 novel of the same name and stars Jack Nicholson, Danny Lloyd, and Shelley Duvall. A family heads to an isolated hotel for the winter, where a sinister presence influences the father into violence, while his psychic son sees horrific visions from both past and future. <laughs> Here's Johnny. So I'm assuming if you're a horror fan on any level, you've probably seen The Shining. It is one of the greatest, if not the greatest horror movies ever made. But I wanted to talk about it this week and just mention it because they just added it on Shudder. And unfortunately, we just lost Shelley Duvall, who was just such an icon of film, not just horror, but just film in general. And she just had this presence about her, but she was just incredible in this movie. And unfortunately, from what we know now, she went through absolute hell making this movie. And I don't condone any of that. I'm not okay with any of that. I don't think there's a place for that in filmmaking. I think you can get amazing things from your actors and, and from everybody involved without torturing them and putting them through hell. But there's no arguing that her performance in this is just absolutely incredible. And everything is just fantastic about The Shining. The mood, the atmosphere, the pacing, it just has this dread that slowly envelops you and it's just as good as anything that's been done in the horror space, in my opinion. So if you're brand new to horror and have never seen this, or if it's been a while, definitely get on it and check it out while it's available right now on Shudder. Revenge is a 2017 French action horror movie written and directed by Corley Fergit. It stars Matilda Lutz, Kevin Janssens, and Vincent Columbi. The story follows a young woman who is assaulted and left for dead in the desert, but she recovers and seeks vengeance upon her attackers. <laughs> so 
So I'm not a big rape revenge guy. Like that's just not my favorite subgenre by any means. But I do have to say the assault in this is handled with care as much as you can. You don't really see much. You just get enough to know what happens and then it moves on. It doesn't dwell on it or make it into some, you know, fantasy type of element or anything weird and perverted like that. But beyond that, this is just a badass movie. Matilda Lutz is just incredible in this, an absolute savage. She just kicks so much ass. And as weird as it is to say, it doesn't seem like it would be, but I'm telling you, this is a very fun ride. So I get it if that triggers you, and that's why I'm warning you up front. You know, like it does have that element in it, but it doesn't dwell on it. It isn't a big thing. It doesn't last long. It's just a, enough to kind of let you know what you're dealing with. And then her just on a mission to just brutalize these guys as much as she possibly can. I think this movie is great. And for the right audience, this is a fantastic pick. The Super Deep is a 2020 Russian sci-fi horror movie. Directed by Arsny Suhin, it stars Melina Radovic, Sergei Ivanyuk, and Nikolai Kovbus. A small research team goes below the surface to find out what secrets the world's deepest borehole is hiding. This is a very cool movie. It is a bit slow and it doesn't have a ton of story to it. So those are some nitpicks I have with it. But the visuals of this and the imagination involved is what makes this really interesting. On top of that, it's really cool because this is a real thing. The Russians really did do this crazy deep borehole that's the deepest hole anyone's ever gone. And there's been a lot of fun rumors and things over the years like sounds from hell and just the different fun things and ideas and, and whatnot that have come from what could possibly you know be way down there and so this movie kind of takes that and runs with it but it goes into a subgenre that i've been really digging lately this eco horror where there's the different things that people find in nature these viruses or creatures or whatever that basically turns on humans and does things to us. Like I, I love things that go that direction, but the practical effects in this, the costume designs, I mean, it's incredible. It's very, very impressive. So if you can be patient and you're a fan of sci-fi horror, this is one you absolutely should add to your list. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. The Beach House is a 2019 horror movie written and directed by Jeffrey A. Brown in his directorial debut. It stars Liana Labarto, Noah Lee Gross, and Jake Weber. A romantic getaway for two troubled college sweethearts turns into a struggle for survival when unexpected guests and the surrounding environment exhibit signs of a mysterious infection. I felt a little lightheaded before. It doesn't feel good. In a lot of ways, this is kind of two movies because the first half of this movie is very much about anxiety and tension and uncomfortability because when this couple shows up, it's so awkward and uncomfortable. You could just feel it. It's very, very cringy and it just makes you want to leave the movie. And so it does a fantastic job of showing that in a very real way, the conversations, the dialogue, it just feels real. But then in the second half, it takes a turn and I don't want to spoil anything, but it gets dark, it gets creepy, it gets uncomfortable and ultimately just goes completely off the fucking rails. But if you enjoy slow burn, psychological horror meets sci-fi, then you should absolutely give this one a look. You run far from here. You can hear that devil sing. What Josiah saw is a 2021 Southern Gothic horror movie. 
directed by Vincent Grashaw, it stars Robert Patrick, Nick Stahl, and Kelly Garner. The film follows members of a damaged family before they reunite at their remote farmhouse, where they will confront long buried secrets and sins of the past. People say in that property, I swear it's haunted. It's time to let the place go. What about Paul? An old bastard just wants revenge. This is such a good movie and very, very underrated, criminally underrated. For one, it has a fantastic cast. I've really become a big fan of Nick Stahl lately. Just everything I see him in, he just puts everything he's got into it and gives just a really fantastic performance. And it's great to see because I know that he has struggled personally with some major issues, addiction issues and things like that. And so to see him making a comeback and working really hard and putting himself completely into these roles is exciting. But Robert Patrick is also fantastic in this and it's exciting to see him. It's been a long time since I've seen him do anything. But it's a real twisted, uncomfortable, strange and creepy story that takes some weird twists and turns and goes in some directions that leave you kind of scratching your head saying, you know, where is this movie going? But it somehow takes all this windy, twisty, mysterious stuff, and in the end, it brings it all together for a major gut punch. But I think it's a fantastically done movie. It's well shot, well directed, well edited, well performed on every level, and absolutely one that I highly, highly recommend. snag a wolf you gotta out wolf him hunter hunter is a 2020 psychological horror movie written and directed by sean linden it stars devin sawa camille sullivan and nick stahl joseph and his family live in the remote wilderness as fur trappers but their tranquility is threatened when they think they're being hunted by a rogue wolf so joseph leaves his family behind to track it down and kill it this isn't a normal wolf it's just a hungry wolf looking for an easy meal. I will catch it. This is a dark one. It's brutal. It's uncomfortable. It's not for the faint of heart. It's definitely not going to be for everyone. If you're not into dark, brutal, demented movies, then this one may not be for you because it kind of blindsides you because it doesn't really feel like it's going to go that dark like it does, especially in the final act. So just be warned going in, but it's really well done. It's so well written, well directed, the dialogue, the cinematography, everything about this movie just jumps off the screen and grabs you. It's so mysterious and it keeps you guessing, not knowing exactly what you're watching or what exactly is gonna happen. But it's another one that's very underrated and it also stars Nick Stahl. And I didn't even realize that until just this moment reading it. And that's just exciting. Like I said, seeing him make a comeback and just doing these amazing roles. Once again, he's brilliant in this one as well. So if you can handle the dark, demented and disturbing for the sake of a really good movie, then definitely check this one out. Coming up from underneath us. So break in any second. You need to trust me. Arcadian is a 2024 post-apocalyptic horror movie directed by Benjamin Brewer. It stars Nicolas Cage, Sadie Silverall and Jaden Martell. A father and his twin teenage sons fight to survive in a remote farmhouse at the end of the end of the world. I just recently mentioned this in one of my videos talking about 10 movies that I recommend checking out right now. But because it's now available on Shutter, I wanted to also put it here because I really enjoyed this movie. I didn't at the time, and I still don't think it was necessarily worth going to see in theaters, but I feel like it's a perfect watch when you're streaming it on Shutter because it's not gonna be for everyone. It is very similar in a lot of ways to A Quiet Place, but it has enough originality of its own and especially the design of the creatures that I feel like it's worth checking out. 
But I've heard a lot of mixed opinions on this. Some people hate the creatures in this, and some people like me love them and think they're jarring and just really, really creepy. And so now that it's streaming on Shudder, you don't have to go spend a bunch of money to make up your own mind. And Nicolas Cage is fantastic in this. Even though he is not in every scene per se, he is the driving force in a way throughout this entire movie. So I think it's a solid sci-fi horror movie that you could really have a good time with. Zombie is a 1979 Italian horror movie. Directed by Lucio Fulci, it stars Tisa Farrow, Ian McCulloch, and Richard Johnson. A New York reporter follows a woman to an island where a doctor faces an epidemic of the undead. This is such a good movie, an absolute classic. I think it is one of those foundation horror movies that everyone who's a fan of horror should see at least once because it's so creative. There's so many imaginative ideas and concepts and things thrown into this film. And yeah, it's cheesy. Yeah, it's campy. It's from the 70s and there is an element of that, but I feel like that adds a lot of charm to it as well. But as far as zombie movies go, not only is this one of the early ones, but I still think it's one of the best ever to do it because it's genuinely unnerving. It's genuinely creepy. It will make your skin crawl. It'll make you feel a little nauseous at times. Like it really does have that effect. But like I said, it's also unique and imaginative, super, super creative elements like the scene underwater of the shark and just these different iconic moments in this just make it absolutely a can't miss. So if you're someone that's still kind of young in horror or is just for whatever reason, never seen this one, you need to do yourself a favor and make this the next thing that you watch. White is a 2021 Australian horror movie. Directed by Martin Wilson, it stars Katrina Bowden, Aaron Jacobinko, and Tim Cano. A fun-filled flight to a remote island turns into a nightmare for five passengers, and they are trapped on a raft 100 miles from shore. We're sinking fast. So Shark Week on Discovery just passed, and so I've been watching a bunch of shark content. I just I love nature, I love history, I love all that crazy stuff over on Discovery Channel, but Shark Week is one of my favorites. And so I'm also a sucker for shark movies. Now, this one isn't the best shark movie ever made. I'm not trying to even pretend that, but it takes the concept pretty serious, gets gory, gets bloody, has some really great visuals, it's really well shot and well performed, and it's also one that you just don't hear anyone mention. But I think it's really solid, especially if you're looking for a new shark movie. And I think it's a perfect pick for this Saturday night. So do yourself a favor this weekend, guys. Pick one of the movies off of this list. Grab your popcorn and your candy and enjoy. And I want to give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys mean so 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 much to me and if you would like to help support this channel over on patreon there's a link down in the description or you can become a channel member and help support the channel that way by pushing that join button but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys horror can be fun and if you enjoyed this click right here to watch me talk about 10 horror movies over on Tubi right now that I think you'll enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time.